Okay, we're going to go over the first three problems in the review for your test. The first one that we look at is in intercept or factored form. We can tell because we have the parentheses, but they're not squared. It might be helpful for you, we talked about, as we talked about in class, for you to put parentheses around the one half x, because sometimes that's also going to say like x plus two or something like that. The way we find the x-intercepts is to set both of these pieces, both of the factors, equal to zero. So you're going to find the x-intercepts by setting one half x equal to zero and x minus two equals zero. Oops, let's fix that. x minus two equal to zero. So on the first equation, we're going to divide by a half and we get x is equal to zero divided by a half, which is zero. So we know that one of our x-intercepts happens at zero, zero, and we can go ahead and plot that on the graph if we want. For the second x-intercept, we're gonna solve for x by adding two to both sides, and we get x is equal to two, so our second x-intercept is two comma zero. Now once we've found the x-intercepts, we can use these two to find the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry for x-intercept form is found by just averaging the x-intercepts. And we average them by adding them together and dividing by two. So to find our axis of symmetry, we're gonna do x equals zero plus two divided by two, which gives us two divided by two, which is one. So x equals one, is our axis of symmetry. So we know the axis of symmetry happens right here. It might be a little easier if I highlight it. There's our axis of symmetry. It goes right through the middle of those two x-intercepts that we found. Now once we've done that, we're ready to find the vertex itself. We know the vertex is on the axis of symmetry. So you're gonna take that value that you found for the axis of symmetry and plug it back into the original equation one half x times x minus two. So we're gonna do y equals one half times our x value is one, and then times one minus two. Be careful to do the order of operations. We're gonna do the parentheses, one minus two, and we can go ahead and multiply these two outside at the same time. So one half times one is one half, and then one minus two is negative one, and one half times negative one is negative one half. So our vertex has an x value of one and a y value of negative one half. Scroll in and put that right there on the vertex. And since we have three points, we can go ahead and draw a sketch of our parabola right there. Make sure that it looks like a U and not like a V. 